If their so-called saint lived around here, he must have looked for a sheltered area. It is a good place for an old man to settle. Indeed, there are some traces of life here. But we will have to examine this place to find the piece that has found the Dara Grimace.
This is a cave of knowledge, or at least it looks like one. The old man must have been exceptional to be able to live in such a place. Let's take a closer look at these paintings. We may learn something from them. This mural depicts an old man praying in front of a face in the mountain. He's holding a rosary. <sighs> Saint Matthias, praying to Enon Milfrichtemann. This mural depicts an old man praying in front of a face in the mountain. He's holding a rosary. <sighs> Saint Matthias, praying to Enon Milfrichtemann. This mural is very ancient. It depicts an old man dressed as a priest, getting his face painted by a masked native. Engraved tablets. They resemble the ones we recovered in Eden. We should take them with us. The researchers would be delighted to study them. There are some native symbols here and some letters I recognize. As if someone had tried to write in the native language using our alphabet. Men dwi stad in on mil fructimen. It means welcome us amongst your people, en on mil fructimen. This is incredible. Saint Matthias would have known about the spirit of the island and would have prayed to him. It looks like a chaplet made of pewter. It's rather basic, but it was made a long time ago. And it undeniably comes from the continent. I seem to recall that their saint is often described as using a similar object. I do not know these glyphs, but these spirals are native symbols. There are some words in our ancient language next to them. The light and the earth are the two faces of a same power. It's impossible to know if this is a translation or another sentence. But this is a message that would seriously displease the Inquisitors. I cannot believe it. These symbols, they are signs used in the secret writing of the Donegada. So that's what it was. The priest's old sage became a Donegad. I don't think that they'll be happy about that. And yet, it could bring peace. The Solasser will no longer be able to burn our people and our guardians. Why is he not depicted wearing the marks of the Donegada? It was a very long time ago. Magic had not yet been given to us by Enon Milfrichtemann. I wonder what I should do with these relics. Eugenia probably didn't imagine that Saint Matthias lived his life in a way that's so different from what they advocate. As for Virgil, he wasn't wrong. Such a revelation will certainly cause a schism in Teleme. The great revelation that will change mentalities for good, or the preservation of the dogma at all costs. I think you already know which side I'm leaning towards. I already took sides in their quarrel. If I change my mind, I'm afraid that it might be seen as treason. I'll think about it on the way there. Let's go back to the researchers' camp. So, did you find anything? We discovered a cave that was inhabited a lot mostly native. And have you found... There were also frescoes on the site. 
Representing St. Frescoes. He was shown how you... That is what emerges from... Look. This chaplet. Excuse me. You must come with me. You realize so far. And you think that this time... We have so... I see. It seems we are arriving right on time. You did well to warn us, Brother Virgil. Virgil? How did you know? I'm afraid that your Excellency's lies weren't very convincing. We were informed of your discoveries and of the danger they represent. We demand that you hand them over to us immediately, so that they can be destroyed. How can you even suggest the destruction of relics written by the hand of our founder? Out of love for our dogma, for our faith, and for our nation. But since you refuse to comply with our orders, you leave us no choice. Death to the heretics! that I just fought my own brothers in faith. The fact that the Inquisition is after us is very disturbing, Excellency. We would do well to hasten to San Mateus. They will not dare to attack you there, even if these men were the last forces that the Inquisition could send us. You are right. All this proves is that I will not succeed without your help. There is a risk that the Mother Cardinal will also reject our discoveries. And? If you will allow me to attend the hearing, I would be delighted to support you. Your help will be precious to us, Father. In any case, we must present our research to Mother Cardinal as soon as possible. I will study the tablets one last time to make sure I know all their content. And I will meet you at the palace in San Mateus to plead our case. Understood. See you soon, Sister Eugenia. Be careful.
Karantz, I want to understand this story about the promise made to the priests. I am certain that they lied. You understand the Renegade better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? I cannot go there now, but we will talk about it again. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Are you ready to put our plan against the Mother Cardinal in motion? It is certainly interesting, but I must see to other things before putting it in motion. I'll come back to you as soon as I have more time. Of course, my child. I know how to be patient. What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No. But I was part of the embassy. I had only just started my career as a diplomat back then. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had sent me to spread the word. I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had a predisposition for magic. But you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand chasing your cousin. I will see you later, father. Take care, my child. Ah, Your Excellency. We were eagerly awaiting your arrival. Sister Eugenia was just recounting me the tale of your achievements and telling me about the incredible discoveries you've made. These relics shed a new light on the last years of our founder. It all demonstrates that he hadn't evangelized the islanders, but, on the contrary, he would even have adopted some of their rituals, merging the cult of the enlightened and the cult of nature in a single dogma. These discoveries, if they can be verified, are extraordinary. But they also represent a great upheaval that could harm our nation. We must first verify their authenticity. You are the only ones who entered this cave. Could what you have witnessed be a falsification? The cavern we discovered is located in a very remote place. There's no island or village nearby. It contains some ruined dwellings, but clearly no one has lived there for a very long time. Fraudsters would inevitably have left traces of their passage, and we have not found any. The entrance to the cave was protected by one of those giant creatures that the natives call a Nardike. These guardians usually protect sacred places, and let no one enter without a fight. I had to kill this beast. Which leads me to think that nobody had entered the cave for a very long time. We discovered ancient frescoes on the walls of the cave. They represent Saint Matthias without a doubt. He's depicted with his chaplet. In one, he is praying for the divinity of the island. In the other, his face was being painted by a native. I understand how shocking these discoveries are, but their antiquity proves that they are genuine. The tablets found at the site, however, attest that our founder had not abandoned the cult of the Enlightened. He simply saw it as two different reflections of the same divine power. The relics could be authentic, Your Excellency, but we only have your word to convince us. The political and religious impact of these discoveries will be unprecedented. We risk schism. 
civil war. And who is to say that this is not a plan to weaken us? It seems that you only see the negative aspects of this discovery. But the reality is very different. By integrating some of the natives' beliefs into your dogma, you could build an alliance with them. Something no other nation has managed to achieve before. It is a good argument, Your Excellency. I hadn't thought about that. I would also like to inform you that a member of the Ordo Luminis was part of the expedition. He tried several times to sabotage it, even killing many of his colleagues for it. And finally, he attacked us, as we were preparing to join San Mateus. You'd have thought that the remaining members of the Order would go to such extremes. But I fear these attacks are just a reflection of what will happen if your discoveries are made public. Your Eminence. We are faced with a crucial choice for our nation. What does a man of faith do in such a dilemma? He prays and places his trust in the one who came before him and has shown more wisdom. Saint Matthias shows us a new way. If we are believers, can we really turn our backs on him? You surprise me, Petrus. You who are always so political, yet your words seem sincere. You give me something to think about. Thank you. If my people knew that the great sage they had long respected is the same man as your saint, and that your priests respected our culture as he did, they would be welcomed here as brothers. And the Eden we wanted to build would be everywhere. You speak sense, princess. Does anyone wish to add anything? I understand your doubts about the future, which are inevitably caused by such a revelation. You hesitate just as St. Lucius did to tell us about the journey of his master. Yet in the end, he revealed what he knew, and his words still guide Telemé today. Thank you for your testimony. I will now retire to think about everything and make my decision. After careful consideration, I have decided that it is my duty to reveal your discoveries to the world. It will take years for our theologians to study all of this, but our dogma must follow the path opened by Saint Matthias. Thank you, Your Eminence. I would be delighted to help with the study of these relics. I don't doubt it, my dear. And I would like you to take me to see this cave. I look forward to worshipping at the place where our holy founder ended his days. As for you, Your Excellency, I thank you for the help you have given us. Your sincere insight has encouraged me to make this difficult decision. It was my pleasure. Let me also thank you, Your Excellency. Without you, we would still be in the shadows.